So, uh, going to be checking out the GDQ blind race levels. Um, these were from SGDQ 2022, uh, made by tons of different, well not tons, like I think nine different people worked on the levels themselves, but there were maybe 20 plus people all writing code and things to get this to run smoothly. There's a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes. Testers, coders, uh, the level designers themselves, and then of course the racers. All right, so I'll say before I play these, any chatters or commenters who make assumptions. I watched this race, so I've seen these levels. The racers have never seen them. And I guess if I take longer to beat it than they did, then you can use that against me. Uh, also, it's just, it's very, racing is tough. Um, there's the things you know would affect you, like the crowd, the nerves. Um, but there's things that affect your gameplay that you don't think about. Like, you're sitting in a different chair. It's a different monitor. You might even be using a different controller. Also, you don't get to, so when I die, I get to immediately attempt it again. When they die, they have to pass the controller. There's just, there's a lot going on that makes it really, really hard. <laughs> but anyway, if you haven't seen these levels, they are a treat. Uh, you should watch the race. I'm excited to play these. They look so cool. Let's go. Wait, which team was Shoujo on? I want to play well. The Dinos. Good luck, racers. When you stomp an enemy, you can jump high if you hold the jump button. You up on the control pad to jump. What is this? What is this? What is this? Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, you can't leave it. Well, this is already starting very well. I thought maybe this was like a Yoshi info house, you know? All right, first up is Boulder in the Air by Psychedelic and the, I don't know, is it the Bergy Man? Uh, Psychedelic made super, um, what do you call it? The Bun Bun Worlds. And, um... Bergie Man made, uh... <coughs> Luminescent. I haven't played SMW in quite a while, either. Oh, I have to hit that... Lock, I think, or maybe not. Ah, oh. oh, it's a bigger bounce. Okay. Controlled bounce. Nice. Not that way. Sounds like Mega Man music. Um, oh shoot, yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really tight. Oh my god, yeah, these are really tight. I think they died to that, too. Hello! Oh my god. Wow, there's still more. Wait, did I miss something? 
God, okay. Dude, this is insanely tight. Like, for a blind race, this is a marathon blind race at that. This is crazy. It says I'm just. This one is Tungsten Shoes by G Breeze and Miracle Water. Uh, two very good creators. All right, this one. Nice. I can land on that. I've done Yoshi Fly, I just don't think I'm familiar with it. Oh, that makes a dude. Yoshi part looked really confusing. All oh, right, when I land the dude and Yoshi apparently, I would have gotten annihilated by that level probably. Like I'm, I'm not confident I remember the inputs right now. Oh wait, no. expected. Oh, okay. I actually didn't see the ending to this level. I, uh, I, uh, had a, uh, coffee moment during it. Anyway. Force Flying Disorder, ESM5, TR by BK. <clears throat> oh my god, it's already too hard. Yeah, I would have just gotten obliterated by this level. I don't think I need to keep... I think I need to... Yeah. Ah, and this is gonna make a Yoshi. Oh, okay. Oh no, and here it is, alright. Ah, yes, it's a vanilla tech. You would never do it in the vanilla game, but... Okay, I was right. Yeah, it's like tongue and then like three frames later you have to press back, I think, is what it is. Actually, uh, Truman. Oh, right, I remember this. Everybody died here like so many times. You guys were so confused by the thwomps. What? <laughs> Come on! Alright, this isn't that bad once you know what you're doing, but... 
figuring this out without ever seeing it. I mean, I guess you would have your teammates there helping. So that would help figure out what you have to do. I'm not even talking claw. I'm talking like keyboard, I guess. Like Ryu, you know how Ryu car plays? I don't know how Ryu plays like that. Mostly how he does a shell jump like that. Like, that would be so awkward. Hello! I came here the first time. I was trying to, like, show her. I was like, I'm gonna help you get better at Kaiza. I'm like, alright, let me show you how to move the controller, like, to do a shell jump properly. And she picks it up and she's got her index finger over it. I'm like, what are you doing? You don't claw grip for shell jumps? <laughs> alright, I did pretty well on that one. <clears throat> the cape's tough. Okay, this level right here, I won't say what's going to happen if you haven't, somehow I haven't seen these yet. This is up there with like, jump final boss for me, in terms of just cool. Like this is insane. This level is really a treat. Cyberkinesis by Erpy McFrosty. Although, I don't know what's up with these fish. They're kind of wacky. You know how V V V V V whatever made a game off of switching gravity or whatever? I think there could be just a flat out video game made with all the stuff going on here. Ah. Um, so I believe this is a... I don't know what Mode 7 is. It's something called Mode 7 that Kaizo Man made. Essentially, a while ago, he just posted one day and was like, look at this cool thing I did. And, uh... Burpee was like, I'm gonna turn that into Kaizo. Orb. That's so cool. Oh man, so cool. Like, that's just, that's artwork. 
That's so cool. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, this one has some funny trolls. Unfortunately, I know them, but I, I thought they were hilarious. Thrice ghosted by Maddie. Alle allegedly, so I or so I hear, you know. Oh, okay. God, I hate this song. When I hear this song, I only think of Hyper Six. I don't think Yoshi's Island. Don't read text boxes. back for SMW now. I think the Razors got really confused here a lot as well, because it... Oh, it kind of looks like you should jump straight to the key, but that's not what you do. It's your momentum. I see. No. Yeah, if you if you hit that you can't have a checkpoint. I thought that was actually a really cool thing. Ooh, nice. Oh shoot. Barb almost one-shot that whole thing after not getting the checkpoint. Oh, Whoa, there's a fake platform. I don't remember that. And this ending was not lining up for people. I saw a strat that I think would work whenever it wasn't lined up or whatever. I want to try it here. Ah, so like do like a controlled jump and um... I totally didn't know this was happening. A few moments later. <laughs> oh, you gotta wait. I thought that was the goal. Oh god, yeah, this. This is cursed. done summer games. Please clap. You are now approaching the final obstacle. Are you ready? That wasn't it. I actually wonder if you can do this. 
Well, that was pretty close. Alrighty, I think that one's my favorite to play so far. I like the Furpy one as well, but that one, I really enjoyed, uh, what's that game called? Sonic Saves the World? Alright, Ode to Lesbian Worm by, oh, I thought this was just by Idol. Idol and Marco. I did not like this song. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable the whole time it was playing. <laughs> it's like... What is it called? A, a cacophony? Like the opposite of a symphony? Yeah, I was supposed to be in the SMW race when we initially said we wanted to do it, but... Uh... Wasn't able to happen. Oh, shoot. But I was very happy to see, uh... Third Wall got to do it. Third Wall, Shoujo, Shabda. I don't, have you ever done a race of GDQ Third Wall, or was that the first one? It was the first for Shoujo and Shabda. Let me find a word you've only read and see you pronounce it first try in front of an audience. God. Hello, Tree Tove. How's it going? I don't even remember there being more to the level after that section. See you, a smiling one. Ah. Uh, 403 Rhino, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. So I'm playing Mario Maker after this. That second section was really cool. Oh man, this one just looked... This one took me a while to understand. I think when they got to the end of the level, I finally realized what was going on in this. I mean, obviously I could tell it was a rhythm level from Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but like... It, it felt like it wasn't going with the rhythm, and then I finally noticed... So, uh, I believe red enemies move double. Um, so at the very start you'll see bullet bills and they look like they're moving all chaotically and it's like, this isn't going with the rhythm, but the red ones are double stepping and the black ones are stepping once. Anyway, this one's very wild. Kanga Kaizo by D to the fourth. So that's why the red ones are, uh, I was so confused why they weren't moving in sync. Shoot. Here we go. <laughs> 
I like the like blocks that just yeet you back rather than spikes down there to kill you. I think that could be used in tons of packs. Like that just would feel nice rather than dying and having to start over. Oh right, this. this exact what do you mean has the rhythm been done before or has the blocks that yeet you back I would say this is brand new. I loved this room. This is just like a Crypt of the Necrodancer room. I was like, what? What was that? How did I die? I hit it on the beat? Is that what it was? These blocks here are kind of hard to see. I didn't notice them a second ago. Alright. Oh, it, it has the auto grab patch. I love this ending. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh my god, that ending is- that doesn't usually go that smoothly. That ending's usually chaos. That would have been such a letdown if that happened in the race. <laughs> it was so it was very cool because you never knew what was gonna happen because it was just it just looked like chaos. That. Yeah, shout outs to everybody in the credits. Obviously the level creators and the racers, but there's so many- we were in a Discord server and there's so many people, um, that were just- up till the day of the race, they were still fixing bugs, and, uh, <laughs> it's crazy that this thing ran very smoothly. Oh yeah, we were wondering who was on commentary. Amethyst, Kez. I only recognize Kez's voice. Amethyst and Mark Alarm. I also didn't know why I was in the credits. I, uh... I felt like the, uh... The Michael Scott handshake meme. I was like, hey! I'm in the credits! What did I do? Maybe because I'm in that Discord, they were like, why is he in here? Oh my god, what the heck? Did this get shown on the stream? Oh, it didn't. 
I was like, I don't remember this. <laughs> oh, and then it's the vanilla credits. Oh man, yeah. That was... I honestly, like... Mario Maker's, like, main game, but... I enjoyed this race more, I think. Just, it was... It was so good, and the competition was so crazy. Um, like, especially that that rhythm level at the end. Like during the race, it was like it was chaos. Like nobody was, everybody just kept falling and falling, and then both teams got there, and you're like, I don't, who's gonna win? I don't know. It was very exciting. But yeah. Uh, if you want to play these, they are on SMW Central. It's under uh, Legends of the Hidden Thwimple, I think. I think they're working on a 1.1 patch to fix any issues. Because I think this does still crash sometimes. I guess luckily nobody crashed it in the race. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Check out the race. Um... The actual race, it was a very good race. It's very exciting because another thing is the commentator, the commentators, they hadn't tested these levels. So you were hearing their commentary, like, you know, imagine when you were watching live and you saw that burpee level and like, like it was very good. Just the whole thing was good. It was very cool. <laughs>